morning it's raining again which is good we like rain do you like rain yeah yeah <laughs> isaac's here because you're not feeling too well are you mate you don't look too bad though do you you've got temperature all right morning Look, so we've got out in this paddock of getting the uh, grass down. Right, we better start doing a bit of feeding round, I think. So just feeding everywhere out. Uh, my dad's gone out for a day today, so just me and Noah and um, Ben if he turns up. Noah's just sorting out a mix so we can get everything finished um, this morning. And then we've got to get on with the straw in and then think about where we're going to muck out because we don't want to straw up where we're going to muck out. It's all happening. I'm going to jump on the straw baller. So we've just been doing a spot of soldering onto here because somebody had mentioned no names. It's not this way and we've prepared it but they need to do it proper because it snapped again this morning. Um, so we're just repairing that. When I was doing it, um, I forgot to disconnect the power and I've blown the fuse, haven't I? The idiot. That's why you should always disconnect your power. I didn't even think. This is not 240 volts, eh? If you couldn't get any more backwards with this day, um, I've just bunged the straw blower up. Fantastic. So I better go and tip this out and then um, get the big barn. Trying to get it opened up. So unbunging it's not as bad a job as it once used to be we sort of know what we're doing now we got you have to get a very very strong bar and this is one that like you know even if you swing on it it doesn't flex and then put it in different places on here to, to um, prise that back round and pull the straw out right we're back going now finally got a load of muck on the trailer round there and um i'm gonna take that first of all with this 215 and then I can see it worn out where it is and um, I can start the muck hill because it's, um, it's on somebody else's uh, field so I just want to get that started and just make sure it's not too wet. I don't think it will be, it's just surface stuff. Then we can get plenty of mucking out done today. So we're in the spaceship tractor with all these buttons, multitude of buttons. I think I know what most of them do now. I'm getting that way. Um, we'll get this trailer hooked up. Right, we'll get the pipes on, and away we go. Better wind these arms up so they don't catch the pipes and drag them off. Sorted, trailer stand off, pipes on. Let's get rocking. I'll just change the floor, we'll put that to full. Take it off constant pumping. So we just want it on. When we pull the lever, if we let go, it goes off straight away. Don't want any mistakes. I know mistakes happening. I wonder if I press plus. No, you got old minus on. There we go. Done. So here we go down this uh, old road. There's now a new road. This is an old road. Um, the idea, really, if we could tip muck on here, tip it on it um, any time of year, but. We can't, we can't, we have to tip it in the field. So, we'll get in there and see what it's like. So this is good, I'm not making a mark. Um, I'm gonna tip it on this headland here where um, it's not come under the trees. And then Don can get it spread when, uh, when he wants after harvest. So I'll just do this um, bit so I can send it to Noah. If we tip it, not on where these bits are, but you can tip it on this bit, little bit of crop here that's on edge because we're probably not going to combine that, or Don won't be combining that. And then if you put another load at the side of it, and if we can get a third one on, we will. If it's getting too close to that crop, then don't bother. We've got plenty of bare ground to tip it on, so just pull in there, turn to the left, and then back up. And you'll uh, you'll get it tipped off there. Boost. Just watch when you're coming out of the field. I put a piece of wood there, but somebody might move it. There's like a metal girder sticking up. Um, 
which you can see at a minute because I've got that wood there but if somebody moves it you'll uh, you'll you might just grid on it right we'll get another trailer filled up oh get an all here you know need some new concrete that's what we're we're mucking out get all that out then we'll start on another pen after that because we've got plenty to do we've uh, we've not been able to get any done because it's either been too wet which has been it's been too wet and um, when it's been dry then we've needed to get the crops in so now it's mucking out let's get some of this done i'm off um water trough fixing now i've got remote 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 if i can say that word um that's full we're ready to go when no one gets back um but yeah water is key and i've seen this one is not running quick enough we'll get that sorted right that's fixed it's always that trough it's always that one that bungs up i think it must be the one with the lowest pressure on the line or whatever yep it's a real pain it is but anyway we'll get some more muck out but today um i'm allowed to announce something that i got asked to do um a couple of months ago i'm gonna be a judge judge jury and executioner um yeah the, the national young farmers uh association asked me a couple of months ago if i would be a judge for young entrepreneur of the world uh, of the world of the year um at their young achievers awards which happens in um i think is it november i've got it in my mind that it's november I'm, i might be wrong but um it's at the nec they have a big award ceremony and they're recognizing young people that are really pushing the industry forward in whatever way um that is and furthering the careers so nominations are still open for all the award categories so if you know a young person that deserves recognition for what they're doing then nominate them because even the nomination process if i got nominated as a young person for entrepreneur of of, of the year farming entrepreneur of the year i'd be i'd be buzzing that i'd just be nominated so do it, do it for these young people. Um, give them that confidence to keep going in agriculture. Get them, uh, get your nominations in, and um, and yeah, hopefully see some of you at the award ceremony in. Like I said, I think it's in November. I might have got that wrong. If I've got it wrong, I'll put it in some text here. But um, but yeah, no, massive, massive honour for me personally to to be asked. Um, and I just had to say yes because you know, it's on the list now, isn't it? Like judge tick boom um what type of judge am i going to be i don't know hopefully not like a simon cowell kind of x-factor judge but um but yeah maybe uh maybe a more, a more positive one uh so yeah that's that that's that's what i've got to tell you um right let's get some more mucking out done Beck is here in the peugeot weapon oh, oh, as soon as i come in the door they're said... your biggest fan yesterday and I'm saying to get the camera out of my face, mate. <laughs> Don't joke. Don't, no. If you put that on, I've been mucking out as well. You don't smell like I've been mucking out. You should smell the cheese you've been eating, Debbie, on an evening. It stinks. It makes it's nice. Sense. It's French it brie. Like, it smells like feet. Oh, it's lovely. Well, it's still spitting a bit of rain here. Yeah? You guys are happy, aren't you? Hello. Going out on the 215. Got my fancy stand, my big stick, and um, we'll do a bit of time lapse, I think. bad foot so these are coming out so we can muck this out that's why it's looking a bit mucky in here we've not bedded them up today so 
I'll move him to another pen. Come on, out we come. So we're into here, looking these guys out. I might even do the front of these. If, uh, if we get time, to be fair, I might run out of time. So we'll keep filling them. Keep going. Well, only time, I'm not recording, I've not got Pip here. There are rats under this one. So, we'll get this put up here anyway, get a trailer back to him. Another load leaving on the clean 6215. Oh, rhyming again, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I was. I've got a few minutes between Noah getting back and um, me finishing filling the load. So what I've been doing is just running around, trying to get a few pens fed because it's going to be probably a later than normal finish. Nothing like what we were doing when we were drilling, but. Um, oh, sliding. But um, yeah, I've got to try and do a little bit here and there just to save a bit of time. Those who've been watching the channel for a bit will remember this shed and uh, what I did one of the last times. And it wasn't the last time, it was the time before that, I think. Um, or maybe even the time for I can't remember. Um, yes, remember what happened? Yeah? Yeah, so I'm sure some of you will. Uh, remember vividly. <laughs> so we now just got this one completely empty. Fetch the um, troughs back in. Just top that load up from, bit them up from in there. All be happy days. And they've been uh, pushing past the Sangyong. Come on, get up. Get in there, go on. That's it, back home. So that's you guys back in a nicely mucked out pen, isn't it? Hey, be happy with that, won't you? Plenty of straw in there, plenty of feed. Jobs are good, and right now I'm gonna get some cows fed with our lovely nutritious meal that we're feeding. Look at that, perfect cow paradise. Right, we're on the nine meter now, and we'll. Uh, Get some straw fetch round, just waiting for Noah to get back and feed the pens. We'll get this straw around and it's another job ticked off. Been covered in a shower of loose straw off these bales. <coughs> Literally everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gone dark in here. There's that much dropped off these. Are you ready? There we go. So we've cleaned a lot of the straw off the beast of a nine meter that is. Cause it was getting you were getting well packed in under the boom. And, and it can only cause problems if it's left. So that's the last place fed. Uh, I think I might come out in a bit and just get a little bit more muck down the road. Uh, just have a coffee and get video edited and bits and bobs. But it's time to do our bit as a channel for charity. And we're raising money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance, which saved people's lives across um, Yorkshire and the north of England. So it is a happy birthday. You're lucky, Laura. You got on twice because I made a mistake. But um, Laura Skilling's 33 yesterday. Um, Richard Hind is 50, the big 5-0. And that's love from Lisa, Georgia, Callum and Sarah. So happy birthday to you, Richard. Now, Chris Shuttler, long time watcher of the channel, is 39 and his mum is 40 again, he says. <laughs> so Sandra Shuttler, um, happy birthday to you. If anybody else wants to get their name on the mixer, there's a link in the description below. A whole we asked for is a small donation to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Or with a large one, you know, we don't, we don't, find what it is as long as it's a small donation to them um, it all helps the job well, that sounds like an absolute beast out there that's got to be a v8 scan you um right i'm gonna go and have a coffee and then uh, get back out here and load some mug i think if i do all my editing um inside this may well be the end of the video um 
But yeah, remember if you know a young person who deserves some recognition in farming, um, then check out those the Young Achiever Awards from the Young Farmers, um, National Young Farmers Federation. So, these guys, um, oh, I feel totally lost my train of thought. I don't know where I'm going with this. If you've liked the video, <laughs> um, press the like button, uh, subscribe if you've not already. And uh, yeah, I'll get on shifting a bit more muck this evening, I think. Ticks off a few more jobs. I want to have, have a day of sort of fertiliser spreading tomorrow. So I think if I get these bits ticked off now, then it'll give me a, a, you know, a bit more time to do the fertiliser spreading tomorrow. So yeah. Right, tune in tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye.